Welcome into another edition of Talking Fitchburg on this Monday, August 12th, 2024. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day. Glad to tune in with us for your TF headlines as we work through another nice week ahead. A lot of events happening. We'll get to all that in just a minute. Uh, turning your attention to the Fitchburg Police Department, uh, I want to read you this press release that came in this morning uh, from the department. It says, around 8 a.m. this morning, Fitchburg officers responded to a resident on the 800 block of Whispering Pines Way for a 911 call reporting a physical disturbance. While on scene, officers Officers approached by a witness who reported a physical altercation between two individuals. The witness uh, directed the officers uh, to the residence where the two individuals entered. The officer entered the residence after confirming ongoing altercation. While searching the resident, officers encountered a man armed with a knife. The armed man approached the officer after refusing repeated commands to drop the knife. One of the officers fired their duty weapon, striking the man. Officers rendered medical aid to the man until paramedics arrived on scene and transferred him to a hospital. He is a 28-year-old resident of Fitchburg and is currently in critical condition. The victim in the original incident, which appears to involve domestic relationship, received minor injuries that did not require medical attention. The officer involved uh, reported no injuries. The officer involved is a sergeant uh, with the Fitchburg Police Department with 14 years of experience. He's been placed on administrative duties per standard protocol pending an investigation into the officer involved shooting. The Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation is leading Leading the officer involved shooting investigation at the request of the Fitchburg Police Department. The Fitchburg Police Department will continue investigation into the original domestic abuse incident. Any inquiries regarding the office, uh, officer involved shooting is invest investigation should contact uh, DCI. I want to thank DCI and Wisconsin State Patrol for their assistance in the investigation as well as the Dane County Sheriff's Office. We will pass on other information as it comes in and let you know uh, if we have any uh, further updates. Public uh, comment and potential referendum uh, information uh, will be uh, starting uh, or has been going on, but we have uh, scheduled events coming up here to talk about. First one uh, is during the city of F Fitchburg Common Council meeting at 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday, August 13. Members of Common Council will refer a draft referendum question and hear public comment. No action is scheduled for August 13. It's anticipated that the August 27th meeting of the Common Council will again hear the public comment, review the draft language, and consider action to place it on the fall general election ballot this November. Public comment uh, can be made at the beginning of both the August 13th and August 27th meetings, either by attending the meeting and commenting in person or by attending virtually via Zoom and providing the comment that way. Those who wish to weigh in uh, but are unable to attend in person or virtually may submit their comments to their older person by phone or email. Tuesday's referral of the draft referendum language comes after months of evaluation, community input, and discussion regarding the City of Fitchburg's funding challenges. In April, members of the City Council reviewed results on this community-wide survey that included nearly three-quarters of responders, which would support increased funding for prior priority city services. You can learn more by going to our website, fitchburgwi.gov, uh, where we have links uh, to uh, both this release and uh, information regarding a uh, possible referendum. Turning our attention to uh, elections, elections will be happening tomorrow for the partisan primary. Here are your polling locations. They'll open up at 7 a.m. tomorrow and will uh, stay open till 8 p.m. District 1, you're at the Cultural, Multi Multi Cultural Center. Uh, that's uh, wards 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, located at 5256 Verona Road. Enter off Anton Drive, District 2, wards 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 22. We are at Wyndham Garden Hotel, 2969 K Hill, Maine. District 3, you're at the Fitchburg Community Center, 5510 Lacey Road, and that's wards 11, 13, and 14. District 3, wards 12, 23, 24, and 25. You're at Doxa Church, 2700 Novation Parkway. In District 4, wards 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21, you're at Fire Station number 1. That's located at 5791 Lacey Road and draw off Mutchler Road and districts uh, for wards 19. You're at the Black Hawk Church 5935 Astro Drive here in Fitchburg. All this information is on our website. Go to FitchburgWI.gov and you can click on our elections page there for more information. And Community Night Out will be happening this Wednesday night. We hope to see you out there at McKee Farms Park at uh, August 14th from 5 to 8 p.m. We will also have live coverage of this uh, event as well here on Fact TV. We hope you tune in for that. Have a great day, everyone.